Hi guys, I'm coming today to you from my iPhone. I thought it would be a little easier to do this video through my iPhone, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I kind of wanted to do a video on like arm candy, kind of like slash, um, sh show you some of my new jewelry that I got, but also, um, kind of maybe some tips almost for like plus size wrists and jewelry I want to say like plus size jewelry um not ever not if you're plus size it doesn't mean that you have like big wrists big fingers and whatever you know but um that's not the case for everyone that is the case for me though so yeah I'm um, this is kind of like a you know show you like how I go about like finding things and stuff that fit me like wrists and rings and I usually, I have a hard time, usually, um, finding, like, bracelets and stuff that fit me, you know? Like, it's just, it's frustrating sometimes, and just, you know, maybe, like, some solutions to your problem. Say there's a piece that, you know, you're like, oh my god, you love, like, it's just, you can't live without, um, and trust me that they do exist, um, you know, but... It just doesn't fit you. So what the hell do you do? Right? So just kind of information kind of to show you what you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you like, show you like uh, how I put things together, sizes and things like that, where I get them from. So um, something that's very popular right now is like stacking your jewelry, right? So this is from, um, this is a Michael Kors watch. That I got from Sam's Cup mm -hmm. for 160. It was, and it's actually a present. It came from the money that my mom gave me for my birthday. She bought me a watch previously, but this is the one that I had my heart set on. It was just too much money at Nordstrom. It was 225, and that was the only place I had found it. And I just so happened that I had to return the other watch because it kept on like the link kept on falling off, and like it kept on like coming undone. And I would like get my watch and fall on the floor. So yeah. So I got this this one. It's the one that I wanted. And it was one sixty. So yeah, big difference from two twenty five. So you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't always think that you have to go to Nordstrom or places like that to find what like what's in style, what you want, because you could always find it for cheaper. eBay is also a great way to great way to go. But I don't know. Lately, I feel like I've been like looking at watches and they've been. They go for a lot of money, so maybe you're better off looking for yourself. Now, this, um, like, studded, like, spiked bracelet is from eBay, and I got it for $1.60. And I've, there's a blogger on here who has, like, a store, and she, I don't know where she gets her jewelry from. I don't know if it's from, like, eBay or China or, you know, it probably is. And they sell for, like, 10 bucks, which, I mean, if I had a store, that's probably what I would sell it for as well. But... If you don't mind waiting two or three weeks for your bracelet to come in, I would just say it's the same thing. Get it from eBay for $1.65. It's worth the wait, I think. And then this, like, chunky, like, leather studded bracelet is from Target. I actually got it a while back, and it was, like, 2 or $3. And it was on clearance. I usually never buy anything that's full price unless I'm, like, I need it for an occasion or I'm like totally obsessed with it. Um, so yeah. I don't know why I have a bruise on there. Um, so yeah. This is kind of like my gold go-to look. Um, when I feel kind of edgier, you know. Um, so I, wearing it, pairing it by, by, by itself is also, you know, um, I like doing that sometimes when I want to seem a little sweeter. But I mean, there's... It's a chunky chain, like, links on it, so it's, you know, it's only so sweet that you can go, right? So, yeah. And then, what I wanted to show you on here was this bracelet has, like, a, two notches on it. So, when you're, like, putting it on and say, like, sometimes I'm, like, I feel like I can't breathe when I wear so much bracelets. I have a big wrist, and I can only go so high before it's, like, you know... So this bracelet has like 
two links on it. So I can put it on this link and it fits just fine. But putting it on here fits a little looser. Um, I can fit more bracelets on my wrist that way. So you want to keep an eye out for bracelets that have that as well. And let me show you other bracelets that have that kind of like, um, like sizing to it. These are BCBG bracelets, and this was three fifty at Macy's. Um, I got it with with the, with my coupon. It came out to be three fifty, and it has like two notches as well. So if your wrist is bigger, of course it would go on the last one. <laughs> That's me. Or if you have a smaller wrist, or don't like it to be as loose, it has this one, and that looks really small to me. But yeah. So I mean, even if you're plus size or you have a really small wrist. There's bracelets out there for everyone. And then same thing with this. This is also for Macy's, the BCBG generation. It has that stud that's very popular right now. And these have like a little stretch to them. So that's pretty cool. It's like a leather kind of uh, material, but still very comfortable and stuff. Um, I saw it and I'm like, oh, I love it. Plus for the price. You know, you can't go wrong. And it looks adorable, just, like, stacked with, like, bra bracelets hanging down from it, you know? Like, it works perfect. Oh, it's the other side. I'm like, why can't I take that off? And then, let me go ahead and show you, like, my watches. So, I showed you my gold Michael Kors watch. This is my Bradley Mishka um, rose gold watch. And I actually got this for $20 at TJ Maxx, believe it or not super like amazing price for it so like i said you don't always have to spend a lot of money for quality stuff um it's out there you just kind of have to look for it um then i have this michael kors watch i showed in a haul video already and got it from um nordstrom rack and this this watch is regularly 225 and they had it at the nordstrom rack for um how much did they have it for two no 124 you know, like, that's a super great, super great price for this watch. And this is actually, like, a lot more chunkier. And, like, there's some plain ones that you can buy the cheapest, like, at Nordstrom or Macy's for $180. Um, but this one is actually, like, has a lot of detail. has, like, the little rhinestones on it. And I just kind of want to show you how I usually, like, stack this this watch here I put on like my bangles and these are from Tord. Tord is a great place to go out and buy jewelry if you're a heavier set girl and um yeah so they just have like wider wider stuff so I would definitely recommend Tord. and these were actually on clearance I know sometimes Tord can be kind of expensive but they had a sale on clearance jewelry like two dollars and ninety cents or something for all of the clearance jewelry no matter how big how small so that was really really cool and um oh i just forgot i have bleach on my shirt yay um so yeah just easy easy breezy stacking you know and you can what i like about this like little stacking trend is that you can pretty much do it with like any kind of bracelets and stuff like you don't have to wear actually i should put that back on you don't have to wear um like all silver all gold all rose gold or anything i re i'm really into like mixing um colors and stuff so let me put on a silver watch and this is a hello kitty watch that i actually got for like 25 dollars or something Sanrio had like some type of like sale going or something where like you had well, actually wasn't a sale you bought a certain amount of money and you got the watch for 25 so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this my course chain link bracelet that actually did not fit me but I was in love with and I have to change out I added links and I have to change them out because of course like it fades really fast they're just links that I get from Michaels and they fade but it's okay because you get like a box full of the little links for cheap so it's not a big deal when um you know you have to replace them or anything whoops let me take this one off because that would be too much um so yeah so yeah I like mixing like my 
colors like gold silver like I think it's really it looks really cute really nice um, you don't always have to follow some kind of uniformed like look and let me see if I can put this freaking bracelet on for you guys it's actually one of my easiest bracelets to put on so put that on there and let me add something else what did I want to put on with this was oh yeah my bead kind of bracelet here and then maybe add like some spikes to it and you see that like that's just the thing about this is that you can do anything you want and it'll look cute like the style just it's effortless and you can dress it up dress it down um you know you can go simple take stuff off you know um you just want to do like a plain little look here easy little bead bracelet like that works it just it just depends so you know you don't have to go like all out on things um so yeah um that is kind of like my little video on like jewelry and stacking and arm candy and stuff um let me show you how i keep my bracelets and stuff I actually bought these at, oh, where did I get them? At Michael's. And they were on sale, and then I used, like, a coupon, so they were, like, really cheap. So I got, I have two, and I kind of pretty much just have, like, a little bit of gold jewelry on here. Of course, it doesn't all fit, but I'm just too obsessed, I think, with jewelry right now. And I'm, like, I'm telling you, like, this was three bucks, this bracelet here, like, I don't pay full price for things, and you can find some really good deals. So, yeah. Hopefully this video turns out okay, given that it came out of my iPhone. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.